This car crash at Nagtahan Bridge in Manila in September last year was a gruesome reminder of road safety conditions in Metro Manila. This trailer truck plowed into a car, killing a 25-year-old passenger. The young woman was among the 446 people killed in road crash incidents in Metro Manila in 2016. Almost 44% of these deaths were pedestrians. Drivers accounted for 43%. MMDA recorded more than 100,000 road crash incidents in 2016, or an average of 299 incidents per day. The vehicle top with most crashes? Motorcycles. Pizza delivery boy Jonin Nanario barely survived a motorcycle crash in Quezon City in 2015. His left leg was amputated. <laughs> Now he's a stay-at-home father taking care of his three children while his wife works. He went through depression until he learned to channel his frustration to advocating road safety for motorcycle drivers. MMDA data show Quezon City recorded the highest number of road crash incidents among all cities in Metro Manila in 2016. And this Commonwealth Avenue is known to many as a killer highway. The number of road crash incidents in 2016 surged from 2015, even as there were fewer deaths. Regardless of the number of fatalities, MMDA Chairman Tim Orbo says the agency is intensifying efforts to promote road safety. We have to keep on educating our motorists to have more uh, road safety devices such as uh, traffic lights, lights itself, no street lights and uh, CCTVs no? and then all the barriers that we have. The World Health Organization reports road crashes may become the world's seventh leading cause of death by 2030 if nothing is done to improve on road safety. Makoy Popioko, CNN, Philippines.